This week is an exciting time because 25 years ago Boom Chicago started and Greg Shapiro taught me stand-up comedian at one point and of course he is the man behind the 25 million people who looked at uh, the Netherlands second and America first and I just wanted to talk about what's going on in America, what's going on in the Netherlands, how is the 25 year of Boom Chicago being celebrated and other things which will come up. So oh, Mr. Is... Shapiro, 25 years ago, Boom Chicago started in the yeah. Amsterdam. When did you yeah. uh, got involved? Uh, it started in 93. I started in 1994. So uh, basically here, you know, from the beginning. Yeah, so with all the big uh, heroes there, I mean, we have Seth Meyer uh, flying over, yeah. uh, coming to the Netherlands and uh, yeah. giving a big show in Carré on yeah. uh, Saturday, I think. Saturday the 14th, yeah. yeah. So um, what, what, how did you get involved? How did you get from Chicago or from America to here? Uh, the three founders of Boom Chicago, uh, two of which are still here in Amsterdam, uh, yeah, we've been friends since we were in high school together. And then we went to Northwestern University in Chicago, so we were townies. And I think it was that wanderlust, uh, we got to get out of here, that led to... <laughs> Uh, the yeah, two guys, Pep and Andrew, mostly, uh, who said, "Okay, let's do this. Let's, let's try this comedy theater concept in Amsterdam." In Amsterdam, because why not? He said, "What a stupid idea!" Yeah, we'll just do it for one summer. How bad yeah. could it be? Yeah. And twenty-five years later, yeah, okay. here you still are. Yeah. yeah. And there's lots of famous people are now also moving back to America. Yep. And becoming big successes. Why yeah. are you still here? Uh, because I fell in love with a Dutch woman. So, right. yeah, I came for work, stayed for love. Yeah, and now you have, and, and how is the Netherlands? Yeah. How is the Netherlands as a country to stay in? It's, it's pretty great. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, qual you know, these days, uh, you know, we, we almost had uh, our own loud mouth, crazy blonde haired politician uh, put in charge, but, but wow. not, we not quite. We don't get him in anywhere, anyways here. <laughs> hey, I just saw that you had 100,000 views on your video with Mark Rutte and yeah. the jokes you made with uh, Donald Trump. Yes. Uh, is there good material going on here for the Netherlands, uh, you know, with Trump uh, everywhere? Because you started yeah. years and years and years yeah. before we thought that Trump would be amount to anything. You started with <laughs> Trump up the volume. Yes, uh, and that, it was called Angry White Men. Yeah. <laughs> so we were not just talking about Trump, but the angry white men in Europe as well. And yeah. we're seeing them now in Italy and Hungary and Poland. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, yeah, that's why I'm working on this uh, project as well, the YouTube uh, a daily show uh, called yeah, making fun of the Europeans. Yes, the, yeah. the United States of Europe, and yeah, uh, yeah there's a lot of good material. To that. They're all yeah. great jokes about Brexit and about uh, Brexit and, comes it, up a lot. Yeah, yeah, Brexit comes up a lot. Trump comes up a lot. Yeah. And, uh, so uh, certainly when Trump visits, uh, you know, uh, NATO, London, the yeah. Queen tomorrow. Uh, yeah, yeah, and and Putin. Uh, yeah, and yeah, Putin yeah. on Monday. So. so are you having fun with that material? Or oh, is it, uh, yeah, it, it just doesn't stop. You know, and uh, whether it's a trade war or whether it's NATO, uh, or whether it's a NATO war, well, we yeah. shall see. Uh, NATO war? Well, okay. who knows? I mean, uh, yeah, uh, uh, right now everybody wants to keep sanctions on Putin, you know, because of Cr uh, the Crimea. Yeah. And uh, yeah, Trump is like, ah, old news, moving old news. on. Yes. So what if they take Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania? Ah, Russia's hungry, we need to feed the bear. <laughs> yeah, so. Hey, and um, any new plants for you which we can expect? Uh, yeah, uh, well, uh, I am doing a solo show uh, oh. coming up. Yeah, well, uh, at Boom Chicago, yep. uh, Pep Rosenfeld and myself, we're still doing Trump Up the Volume through the fall. And then coming in January, I will be doing a solo show tour throughout the Netherlands called The Madness of King Donald. Uh, and you go through, you won't only do it at Boom Chicago, you'll go to theaters. Yes, it's a Dutch tour. And uh, yeah, I'll probably be doing some international stuff with that as well. Not just The Madness of King Donald, uh, but uh, the collective psychosis that got him elected and keeps electing people like him so okay. what yeah. about your sense of optimism how is it doing at the moment what what kind of uh, what kind of uh, degree do you give the world well i just talked to this guy vincent aferts who had a really open-minded view on the whole trump experiment and uh <laughs> you know maybe the world uh, did need a good shake-up and uh yeah that's certainly what we've got uh, a nice can't, bully from time to time uh, not too big but a little bit of a 
yeah. a dumb bully? Well, you were saying, you know, uh, you, you get the carrot and the stick. And there's been a carrot for a long time, certainly with Obama, uh, a hint of a stick. Now it's nothing but stick. So, you know, does it all balance out in the end? Um, hmm. The jury. We can hope. But the jury's still out. Will the yeah. system, will the system uh, be able to deal with something like Trump? I have faith in the system that uh, the system will uh, survive <laughs> this grand experiment. And I'm still... Uh, just for my own purposes, reading the book called It's Time to Fight Dirty by David Ferris, uh, arguing that if and when the, the, the Democrats do get back in power again, mm -hmm. uh, we got uh, we gotta fight dirty and make sure that we don't keep losing. Okay. <laughs> any uh, any um, advice for the NATO summit tomorrow for the leaders and for Europe as a whole, what we should do to somebody like Trump? Uh, yeah, basically... Uh, treat, fight dirty? Uh, yeah, fight dirty. <laughs> I mean, I think the uh, NATO slash G7, you know, European leaders have agreed, you know, we've tried everything. We've tried, uh, you know, standing up, you know, we've tried bowing down. Uh, nothing, nothing works. He is, uh, he's not into it. Yeah. And so I think they're just sort of... Uh, But I mean, doesn't it feel like Pim Fortuyn? Circling you know, Pim Fortuyn the wagons. And nobody knew how to deal with... Uh, Pim for time, only he was he wasn't in power. Mm, Nobody I, knows how to deal with Trump. I see what you're suggesting. <laughs> no, 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 that's not. I'm not suggesting. I'm not going to say it because then I get banned anything. on YouTube. I'm just saying, learning how to deal with somebody like Wilders or yeah. uh, or or uh, Pim for time. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that just? Doesn't it take a while for us to learn how to deal with somebody like that? Yeah, indeed. I, I was reading some article about how so many of the rules that we assume in America anyway, we assume yeah. these rules are enshrined in the Constitution, but they're not really. And so much of the, uh, you know, the, the, the laws of uh, uh, being president or, you know, uh, being a leader are, are not, they're just sort of precedent. They're just habit. Yeah. And, uh, and maybe it's not that bad to shake things up and, uh, and redefine. Uh, what you want the presets uh, to be. Okay. Well, we'll see how you're doing. The Q1, the, the, the life of King Donald. Yeah, the madness of King Donald. The madness of the starting... King Donald coming into a feeder near you <laughs> in uh, Q1 2019. Thank you, Greg. So here you have it, the opinion of uh, somebody, an, you know, a guy from America living in Holland, giving his take on Europe, Donald Trump, and is going to give us a great show in Q1. Enjoy and enjoy the next series of news which will come from NATO and from Donald Trump. It will never end. <laughs>